A Different Perspective on First Contact Written by Earth Ally Will I'd like to dispel any preconceptions about what First Contact looks like. Humanity has dreams of enormous starships flying through the atmosphere and forever changing the Earth's relationship to the universe at large. I'm not saying this isn't what it's going to, to look like, but that's only one aspect. For many people, first contact has already happened. In fact, for a tiny portion of this population, contact has been happening for thousands of years. The extraterrestrial beings aren't so alien as many people believe. They've been visiting humanity for quite some time, but people have had many different words for them. They've called them angels, divas, tenshi, and ascended masters, among other things. Re recently, there's been talk of cloud ships, starships that take the form of clouds. But is this really something new? The angels were said to live in the clouds. The genies rode around on clouds. And you can find many more references of angelic beings coming from or living in the clouds if you search through the various cultural mythologies. In many of the recent reports of contact with extraterrestrials, these glowing beings come down from the sky. This is another pattern you can see repeated all throughout history. Extraterrestrial is kind of a loaded term, though so is angel or any other of the myriad names given to these by beings by religions given to these beings by religions. Personally, I prefer the term multidimensional being. It's a much more versatile word and indicates ones who aren't so much physical beings from other planets, but higher dimensional beings. I also use it because the term multidimensional beings isn't exclusive of human beings. Hugh God, man manifest, same as saying multidimensional. These beings aren't coming to save humanity. They aren't better or superior to humanity. They're here to assist humanity in the realization of who humanity really is. These beings are friends and family, not some foreign entities. They've walked alongside humanity for many, many lifetimes, though their presence is only now gaining widespread acceptance. Most people view the starships as something akin to the automobiles people drive around here on Earth, but they aren't physical. But if you must equate them to something material, they're more like your physical body than an automobile. The ships are alive and conscious. Just like the planet Earth, the planet's consciousness isn't separate from any of the beings who inhabit her. And it's the same way with the ships. Planet Earth's higher dimensional body is essentially the same as the starship. The ships are vibrating at five fifth dimensional frequencies, so they're very difficult to describe within 3D terms, which is how most people think. One needs to let go of all their preconceptions to even begin to understand what the starships are. So, the ships are multidimensional, the beings on them are multidimensional, and humanity is multidimensional as well. First contact is so much more than humanity opening up to a much larger physical universe. That's only a tiny aspect of what is now occurring. For many, the higher dimensional understanding of first contact has already come and they are in contact with the higher dimensional beings. First contact can be seen as you contacting your higher self and the realization of your own multidimensional nature. This really isn't any different from what every spiritual master who has walked this, this earth has done. Just this time, 
It's occurring on a much larger scale. Now, there's the opportunity to transform the planet and all, all her inhabitants into something beyond what most have dared to imagine. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Earth Allies.